worship. Wow. Amen. And, I, and then I think the, the thing we put up was worship matters. Worship yeah. matters. Worship yeah. matters. Yeah. So last week we, we talked, or last month, excuse me, wow. Last month we talked about different things. We talked about it this morning. We talked about different aspects of worship. But this Sunday I wanted to take it a little bit further. The sermon subject for today is called Unwavering Worship. Unwavering Worship. <coughs> Turn to your neighbor and tell them, be bold. Be bold. If you're too scared to say it to them, say it to somebody else. Say, be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Be bold. Un unwavering <coughs> worship. If you don't mind if I take a few minutes to unpack this thing, amen? Martin Luther King was bold yeah. enough to, to preach the I Have a Dream speech right. right. before his untimely death. Yeah. Rosa Parks was bold enough yeah. to sit in a seat <laughs> in the white section yeah. of the bus. Yeah. Which caused the huge bus boycott. Yeah. The movie that is out right now, Hidden Figures, is, tells a story about three black, beautiful, and bold women yeah. who were mathematicians who worked with NASA when there was a time they shouldn't have been working with NASA in the early years of the space program. Bold. Bold is not being bad, bold is the ability to stand firm. The ability to withstand, the ability to have power, to not shy away from, to not cower down to or to run away from. Bold causes you to be daring, causes you to not run away from it, as I said again, to be courageous, to be fearless, to be strong, to be bold enough to take a risk in spite of the consequences or the ramifications, irregardless of the outcome. You're willing to be bold. Yeah. I said bold is not bad. Because bad is acting ignorantly. Bad is temper tantrums. Bad is thoughtless actions that are often selfishly motivated. Bad is doing things without thought. Bad is unpleasant. Bad it stinks. Bad is foolish. Bad is unwelcome. Bad is spoiled. Bad is neglectful. Bad is miserable, sorry, and sad. There's a difference between being bold and being bad. Amen. Bad is often joined up with his running partner named Pride. Pride is arrogance, selfishness, concerns only about one's achievements. Pride is smug. It's inappropriate adolescence in the wrong place. It's conceit, it's egotism, it's vanity, it's vain, it's directed inward, it's selfish in so many different ways. It shows up by saying you can't tell me nothing. I can't hear nothing. I don't see nothing you're trying to say. But I have the right to say anything I feel like saying at any time. That's what pride looks like. So here in chapter 3 we see that there's a king. The king in the land of Babylon. And he has, I'm going to use these words often, he has pride. He is the prideful king Nebuchadnezzar. He's arrogant as I said. He's, he's selfish. He's a pride filled king. He's the king of the land though. He's in charge. He's calling all the shots. He has a bunch of followers, but not just regular folks following him, but he's got the leaders. He's got the governors. He's, he's got the, the, the province leaders. He's got everybody following him. Wow. And they're leaders. He has people following him. He's in charge, and he has people who are leaders following his command. Wow. He's a person of power, Jesus. and he's prominent. And what this selfish, prideful king has done is that he made a decree. He made a law. And he had someone announce it. He had the herald announce that, listen, when the music is played, everybody needs 
to worship the golden image that he created. I'll say it one more time. When the music is playing, everybody needs to worship. And, and in this case, bow down and worship the golden image that he created. I'll say that one more time. The king, who is full of pride, is powerful, but he's in charge. He's prominent, but he's prideful. He has made a decree that everybody who comes into that night has to bow down, which means to worship the golden image that he created. We're on the same page, amen? So at the sound of the music, what happens in chapter 3, he tests everybody. They play the music. I don't know what song it is. I'm not going to name nothing. It might be your song. But they played the music. They had all the instruments. Had a full band. All right now. Music was playing. It was loud enough for you to hear. And what happened was everybody did what the herald told them to do. Everybody but three. They bowed down. And they worshipped as the king had told them to do. I told you the king was arrogant, full of pride, and he was prominent and had power. And he had a decree that he had the herald yell out that everybody had to listen. So everybody listened but three. Three. The mayors, the senators of this time, all of the leaders, the, the statesmen, everybody bowed and did what the king had had the herald to announce. But three young boys, not bad, but bold. That's why I made it the definition so you understood what I was saying. They were bold enough to refuse to bow down to the, to the image. Hmm. So because of their boldness, some bad men, I'll call them agitators, they went and told on the Hebrew boys. Yes. Hmm. Let me be clear. Yeah. Every time somebody tell on you, it ain't a lie. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't tell no lie. Yeah. They just told on. Yeah. So they went and they went to the king. And they said, King, these three boys that you appointed in charge of some areas, they didn't listen. Hmm. They were feeding into the king's pride. He said, everybody else bowed down. But these three boys that you appointed over a certain area. I'm going to repeat myself on purpose. There, there's three boys out of everybody that bowed down. Three boys that wouldn't bow down, that you appointed. That would not obey your command. So the king, who was full of pride and hmm. prominent and had power, hmm. got upset. So he said, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call them three boys down. Go get them. So the king calls for the three boys who are bold yeah. to come on down and said, listen, I'm not going to go through the whole story because it's a long, they have a history together. We're finished that next time. They have a history together. So he's like, I'm going to give you another chance. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to play the music. Hmm. Hmm. You're going to hear the horns. Hmm. You're going to hear the harp. And you're going to see everybody else bow down. So that's what I need you to do yeah. when you hear it. Wow. And if not, I got plans for you. Yeah. Bad plans. Yeah. The plans, you're going to end up in the furnace. Yeah. You're going to be cooked. Yeah. 